Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Beer Geek Nation. I'm your host, Chris. Thanks for joining me once again. Tonight, guys, we're looking at a British import. This is from Samuel Smith Brewing. This is the Yorkshire Stingo, coming in at 8% alcohol by volume. Limited availability, there's about 2,000 cases um, that were produced of this. Basically what it is, a Stingo is a British term for a strong ale. So it's a strong ale that they ferment in Yorkshire squares, which are these gigantic square, square open fermentation tanks. And then they're aged for, this beer is aged for a year in um, previously used casks um, that they conditioned other ales in. Some of the casks they used to condition this beer were over a century old. Um, so you're going to get these crazy, crazy kind of woody characters. Um, sour notes, big kind of fruity characters that come out in very, very traditional English style um, ales, authentic ales, if you will. So I've heard nothing but really great things about this beer. Um, I really don't have any point of comparison for it, so I'm looking forward to it. Um, so with that said, let me get into a glass and know how it smells, tastes, give the verdict on the Yorkshire Stingo. All right, so the appearance on the Yorkshire Stingo. Um, it's actually different than what I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be a little bit darker along the lines of like a stout or something, um, but it's a really kind of murky, dark brown with an off-white kind of khaki mocha color head. Um, really, really nice head on it. There's about two fingers, fingers and a half worth of really tight white bubbles on there. Looks really smooth, nice carbonation. Um, these, this is a bottle conditioned beer, so it's hazy as hell. You can't see anything through it. I wouldn't say it's the best looking beer I've ever seen, um, but it's very traditional looking. Let's see that. All right, guys, the aroma on the Yorkshire Stingo. Wow, very, very traditional British real ale. Big fruity esters, um, there's caramel in there, lots of raisiny kind of aromas, like a, almost like a quadruple if you can kind of imagine that. Um, a little bit lighter and a little bit sweeter than a quad is. Alcohol definitely coming through, there's some vanilla notes in there. Ooh, that smells good. There's a light woodiness, almost like a light kind of citrus smell in there. Um, but the big one are just, it's like a, uh, like a, oozing caramel raisiny kind of smell to it. Very, very traditional British fruity ester smell. Just an amazing smelling beer, wow. All right, the taste on the Stingo. Yeah, that is a sexy, sexy beer. Um, Wow, it's very different than what I thought it was going to be. Right at the front of the tongue, a little touch of bitterness, just a slight bitterness. Um, nice alcohol notes right in the front. Middle of the mouth, kind of the middle mouth feel, the bulk of the mouth. There was a lot of this really smooth, kind of creamy caramel notes, big toffee notes. Um, I'm getting huge uh, raisin notes, plum notes, really, really ripe plum, juicy plum flavors in here. Um, it's almost like a like a, a caramel dipped raisin kind of coming through. There's there's uh, sherry notes in there. Um, there's a nice alcohol, you know, lasting alcohol to kind of help clean the palate out, get you ready for the next sip. The ending of it is just nice and sweet, and there's the big fruity esters, nice big caramel ester uh, flavors in there, toffee flavors. Wow, there's some vanilla notes in there. I'm getting some of the oakiness. It's a, a very kind of light, woodsy, tobacco-y kind of smokiness to it. Um, very, very underlying to the beer. Blends really, really nicely with the, with the fruity characteristics, the raisins, the plums. Wow, unlike nothing I've ever had. Um, and it's just an amazing, amazing tasting beer. So the verdict on the Yorkshire Stingo from Sam Smith Brewing, coming in at 8%, available now in limited quantities, so if you can get it, pick it up. I gotta give this one an A. Um, it certainly, certainly lives up to the hype. It's one of the most interesting beers I've ever had. It's one of the most complex beers I think that I've ever had. Um, I went into it expecting a traditional, you know, American style strong ale, and I'm not getting that at all. I'm getting kind of these light characteristics um, blended with these big toffee notes, blended with these big juicy kind of raisin and plum characters, 
mixed with some vanilla, mixed with that oakiness, um, a tobacco type flavor. So it kind of has the light and refreshing characteristics and the really, really big monster characteristics of a big kind of strong ale that you would expect from the America, you know, from America. But it has those very British kind of fruity esters, that light kind of crisp cleanness um, that they're known for in their real ales. And it's just a very, very successful beer. It's a very complicated beer. There's a lot going on in this one. Um, the bottle conditioning just really, really makes it a nice tasting beer. Smooth as hell. Um, it goes down really easily. Nice soft flavors. Nice soft kind of feel in the palate. Perfect carbonation. Not the best looking beer in the world, but you know, you can't have it all. So with that said, guys, I'm going to give this one an A. I think it's a fantastic beer. Um, definitely check it out if you've never had a, a traditional British style ale. I think this is about as close as you're going to get in the U.S. So definitely, definitely check it out. And remember, guys.